Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, checking in on SPY, IWM, and QQQ here as we head into next week with all-time high close. Very strong for the bulls. We did not see a sell-off in the tech sector. Apple did see a little bit of upside in reaction to its earnings. That's keeping the tech sector strong, which is keeping the market strong. So the bulls overall still maintaining this control. We have a new higher low of 256.19. As long as this middle Bollinger Band holds as it has for over two months, the bulls remain in full control. And the next resistance we're looking at is really up towards 260 psychological. The weekly time frame continues to show strength. We've been in a run now where we have seen eight green weeks in a row. And again, the close at the high indicates further momentum is likely. I would absolutely expect new all-time highs this coming week because of how strong we ended last week. IWM, still very tight. We have an inside bar on the daily time frame. 148.06 is support. 148.96 is resistance. We have to see a break of the inside bar. If it's a bear break, the must-hold level is 147.22. If it's a bull break, we're looking up to the all-time high, which is 150.68. So very tight range here. Middle Bollinger Band's been rejecting the price. Lower Bollinger Band's been supporting the price, and a clear break is coming on IWM at some point, likely this week in my opinion. We've now consolidated for a month in a row, and we are due to break the range that we have been in, and we are looking for a volume spike to accompany that, but you can see how tight these Bollinger Bands are. That's by because of how tight this range has been. QQQ on the daily time frame, raging bull with because of the tech sector strength in response to Apple. We've got a consolidation little bull flag bulls bought the dip significantly on thursday follow through friday close up at the highs same thing we're looking for all-time highs in the very near future 153.29 then we'll look at 154 psychological we're back above the upper bollinger band weekly time frame back above the upper bollinger band in full control in breakout mode just in terms of strength qqq has the most force to the upside in terms of responding to the bullish reactions to the earnings reports that we've seen across the sector SPY is second in terms of the strength with the all-time highs. And then IWM, obviously, having this prolonged consolidation is very healthy, but not seeing the same kind of strength that we're seeing in the other two markets. So we'll see if the tech sector keeps this up. The market bulls are not going anywhere. That's pretty much the bottom line, in my opinion. If the tech sector consolidates because earnings are over and there's no more short-term catalysts, we will look for consolidation in the market as a whole. And QQQ, obviously, will see that consolidation more significantly than SPY, in my opinion, due to the higher holdings of the tech sector. But again, that's a big if, because right now the tech sector is, is pointing all steam ahead for the bulls. There is no sign of any slowdown. And it will be clear if that does occur. All you have to do is watch XLK. We do a specific video on XLK in the tech sector. And it too is extremely strong. Very similar pattern to QQQ. So I hope you have a good rest of your Sunday night. And we will see you tomorrow.